So first, I welcome Mr. James Ranjit Kumar. He did his B Triple E from JJ College of Engineering and Technology, Trichy, and then he appeared in GATE exam the year 2012, and his All India rank is 14. <laughs> after finishing his IIT, means after finishing his GATE exam. He, uh, he, he did his Master of Engineering in Electrical Engineering in Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru, 2012-2014. And after that, he worked in Lawson and Tubro, Coimbatore as a senior engineer from the year 2009-2012. And currently, he's placed in, placed as an engineering officer in Central Power Research Institute, Bengaluru. So can we welcome him? Uh, first of all, I thank Simon sir for giving me an opportunity to speak here. And I want to deeply convey my thanks to Vivek for giving a very nice introduction for GATE examination and for myself. Uh, without further ado, I go into the topic. Now I wanted to share some of the benefits of taking this GATE examination and certain myths uh, related with this uh, specific GATE examination. As you most of the people know that getting a good score in GATE examination certainly fetch you uh, a good place in uh, top uh, institutes in this India like uh, IAC or IITs. Most importantly, most of the students think that I will uh, though I will get a good place in this institute, I don't get that much money. Previously, people will uh, get something around rupees 8,000, or now it has been increased to 12,400. But it is not so. Uh, Rupees 12,000, if you uh, get a good GATE score, if you join a top research institution, that Rupees 12,400 is not the only thing you are going to get from that institution. You will get a, a huge number of subsidiaries, like uh, uh, you, you won't spend that m much money in that kind of institutions. For example, take IIT Kanpur uh, as uh, an example. There you will spend something around uh, less than uh, 500 rupees or even less than 1000 rupees for your uh, food and accommodation. Because uh, the government of, uh, uh, the state government of UP, Uttar Pradesh, they will, they have uh, allowed a lot of subsidies to their students. So, in other words, you can able to save that much, uh, so much money even with this kind of subsidies. So, you take, if you take gate, if you uh, Join a top institutions, do not worry about uh, your expenditures. Second thing is, uh, uh, most of the gate aspirants, uh, they prepare themselves for, for this uh, examinations for the jobs, uh, for their jobs in PSUs. Uh, and uh, most of you people know that uh, uh, there are a lot of PSUs are there. The most popular ones are this uh, power grid, NTPC, um, Indian Oil Corporation and the uh, list goes on and in this list uh, increase in each and every year. But uh, one thing I just wanted to add, this GATE score is not only useful for this PSUs, it is also extremely useful for your uh, uh, interviews in, uh, which you are going for your private companies. I hope most of you students are, are either third year or uh, uh, final year students of your uh, undergraduate program, you will certainly uh, uh, going to appear uh, campus uh, interviews in your respective, in uh, respective engineering colleges. So if you have a, a GATE score, certainly it will have a great add-on uh, among the various uh, competitors who are uh, going to appear in, in the same interview you are going to appear. Also, if you prepare well for GATE, if you get a, a top score for GATE, you can easily crack this engineering services examination. This engineering services examination will be certainly a cakewalk for me. This is my own personal, uh, personal experience because uh, I actually prepared well for, I uh, toiled a lot for my GATE examination, but uh, honestly speaking, I did not prepare anything for my engineering services examination. Just uh, uh, I just wake up from my, uh, uh, on the morning of that uh, written exam of this engineering service examination. I went to the exam. Just straight away, I cracked. I came back to my home. 
came back to my hostel during my IIC. But later on, I did not join. That's a different story. So uh, as Saran sir told, get directly though it uh, you, it has lot of direct opportunities like uh, joining IASs uh, or IITs which is primarily intended for uh, for postgraduate uh, engineering education in this country as well as uh, joining uh, top PSUs uh, these are the direct opportunities indirectly it has lot of opportunities on the private sector as well as it has uh, if you uh, if you can able to crack gate with a good score you can certainly able to crack this engineering services examination with a good rank and one more thing if you can uh, if you people are aspiring for top uh, uh, foreign universities universities in abroad one good news is uh, there are uh, four top universities and I think uh, the list uh, grows on each and every year. Uh, they accept GATE score. One of the top institutions, National University of Singapore. Now I think uh, it places uh, seventh or uh, I think sixth or seventh rank in uh, QS World Rankings, ex especially in this electrical, uh, commun electrical engineering, communication engineering and computer science engineering. So they are taking candidates via GATE score for their uh, MS, they call it as uh, uh, MS course, uh, coursework based program as well as research work based program. In either of the case, they are uh, taking candidates to GATE score. As well as uh, there is an another top institution in Singapore, which is uh, Nanyang Technological University. They also accept GATE score. And in fact, this uh, both the universities uh, give uh, much preference to Indian students rather than uh, students from other countries. And uh, not only these two universities in Singapore accept GATE score, there are two other universities in Germany, they also accept GATE score for their MS programs for undergraduate students like you. One of the top universities, uh, uh, you heard about this uh, Technical University of Munich and the second one is this RWT THHN University. Both of the universities, uh, they will, uh, in Europe especially, uh, if you wanted to do uh, education in uh, uh, foreign universities, uh, Europe would be the finest destination. Why? Because uh, uh, they will give uh, a good uh, uh, funding for you. Rather than US universities, there is a huge issue with funding. Even if you are aspiring for GRE, uh, TOEFL or IELTS, the issue is if you plan for this uh, uh, US or Canada universities, they, if you are a self-financing student or if you are planning to go there and uh, work in part time, then only you can survive in US or Canada or even UK. But in Europe, especially in these two universities, you will get a, a good handsome of money. Uh, with that, you can able to survey and you can run your uh, livelihood. In addition to that, you will get a very good decent degree. These are all the additional opportunities. I hope most of the people you know, uh, I am just wanted to re reiterate it. Get it's not only focused for postgraduate education in India, it has huge job opportunities in the public uh, government companies as well as in the private sectors. In addition to that, it has a, uh, a huge impact in abroad universities. And one more thing is, if I speak about ranking, I people will say that uh, um, if I, why I need to join? I did uh, um, uh, bachelor's in a, a good college uh, in Tamil Nadu. Why I plan for uh, IITs or IASC? Uh, because uh, they have a myth that this, uh, even though IASC or IITs, they are top uh, ranking institutions in this country, p students think that they rank less relative to their US counterparts. But this myth is totally wrong. Maybe this is true something around five or ten years before. If you see the recent QS rankings, uh, I'm proud to say that this IITs and IAC stands within top 50. For example, uh, IAC computer science uh, uh, program as well as IIT Delhi, if I'm not wrong, electrical engineering program stands in, uh, in top 50 in this QS world rankings. So, our Indian institutions are not uh, 
uh, what to say, less than the U.S. universities. In U.S. universities, you will have a huge funding issue. If you want to do master's education, your first choice would be Indian institutions. Because, as I uh, told you earlier, you don't have any funding issues where you can uh, uh, see in this U.S. and this Canadian institutions. So. Another uh, great myth with this uh, GATE examination is uh, I have a lot of pressure on my university examinations. Just uh, with my previous knowledge, I will just go and appear in the GATE and I will, uh, I can able to easily crack it with my luck. Most of the students have this myth, but it is wrong. It is totally wrong. Why? Because this, uh, uh, the People who create this uh, question papers in gate examination, they are extremely clever. They are well expertised for the past 30 to 40 years. They know how students will react and how students have uh, handled uh, these kind of questions. So they will cl cleverly ask uh, questions so that the student who is appearing for the exam cannot able to find out the exact answer through luck. So the only way to handle this kind of issue is through practice. Only through practice only you can able to handle this issue as well as uh, you need to know, uh, you need to compete in, a uh, compete in a national level. So at uh, the end of the day, uh, like in the second or third week of February, if you just go uh, go and write the ga gate examination, you are blindly competing with all the candidates for this gate across this whole country. So instead of this, if you uh, participate yourself in a lot of uh, online examinations, like. Uh, uh, one of the examination is this uh, gate forum offers this tar gate where uh, you can uh, participate via online with uh, all the candidates across this world and you can able to uh, quantify your competency level so uh, in the first test if you score less as the test goes on you can able to improve your performance at the end of the day uh, you will improve your confidence so if you are going and uh, if you take this kind of competitive examinations before taking a uh, gate exam, you will get enough experience and you can able to crack gate easily. And uh, most uh, important uh, wrong myth among the students is uh, I did not prepare gate properly for this uh, present year. Okay, it's fine. Uh, gate is coming every year. I will uh, drop gate this year. I will take gate for the next year. So people, majority of the people have this kind of myth, but uh, my serious advice is do not uh, take uh, this kind of uh, advice in your, uh, this kind of concept in your mind. If you wanted to take gate, the, um, uh, prepare gate properly and appear for this examination as early as possible. Why? Because this, uh, this uh, gate examination is so dynamic, uh, we cannot even able to predict what is going to happen. Uh, there, is, there are major changes happened in gate examination over this uh, period of time. I hope, uh, I don't know how many people know. Previously, gate examination is uh, a description kind of examination. It has uh, uh, objective type questions as well as you need to have some kind of descriptive kind of uh, answers like uh, we traditionally answer in our university examinations. But later on, this kind of pattern has been changed. It has become purely objective based question, uh, questions. Later on, they have added engineering mathematics as an important subject in this gate examination. Later on, they have add, added general aptitude uh, in this gate examination. And uh, the syllabus of the gate also have been revised uh, uh, severely over this uh, 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 last 10 years. For example, in uh, electrical engineering stream, in my stream, uh, the most important topic, economic uh, load dispatch has been removed. That, in other words, they have Im increased the intensity, toughness in other topics. If they, it is um, not like that they are removing one topic means uh, the uh, severity is reduced. 
it means the severe uh, the intensity on the other topic is has been ultimately increased and not only the pattern of it is not only that pattern of this gate is dynamic it is also the uh, pattern of students number of students who is up Uh, appearing in this exam is also increasing exponentially for example i hope uh, i remember in 2012 something around 2 uh, lakhs or 2 and of lakh students have appeared for uh, gate examination in uh, electrical engineering stream but uh, i think uh, last year the number have been increased drastically from this 2 lakhs to uh, 7 lakhs i think so what i try to say is uh, this month august would be the right time if you start preparing for gate starting from this month you can able to uh, get a very good rank and uh, it is your wish after after getting a, a score uh, you can either go to psu or uh, um, for an uh, po- top postgraduate uh, institution but uh, i this is my personal opinion better join a masters program rather than joining a psu because uh, there are lot of uh, uh, job opportunities in uh, top in research institutes like uh, isro drdo bark uh, indra uh, igcr in uh, Uh, in chennai as well as uh, in my uh, in my own research institution in cpra it, there are a lot of vacancies uh, how this vacancies was uh, created is uh, people uh, in uh, psus there is a huge attrition uh, when a people joins that uh, psu that person after two or three years he, he will uh, leave that join and uh, he will uh, join another company which is uh, paying more but it is not the case with the government research institution if a, a particular candidate joins that institute until retirement in was in, uh, in most of the cases people won't leave that kind of institute so this is the thing happened for the past 22 to 30 years so all these people are going to retire most of the people in isro drdo bark including cpra they are going to rep- retire and large amount of vacancies are going to be created maybe in the 2 to 3 years so uh, if you have a good qualification at that time you can certainly able to enter this kind of top research institution and you can able to continue your research and once again and thank you for uh, 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 i give me thanks for gate forum for giving me a uh, platform for sharing my experience thank you